allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You all thought I was dead, but nah, Wiley Thompson's back, you rascals. Follow me, mate. We're going on an adventure. So, today, I realised that after my extended hiatus, that someone else came after me. I don't know who. I don't know if they were successful or not. Well, obviously they weren't successful because I'm still here, but that's against the point. The point is today, that I've got to save whoever came to save me. Let's go, mate. Right, mates. So, we've just found the cave of the wild trash man for the second time in all my lifetime. Didn't think I would have to come back. I'm scared, right? But we're gonna go in, we're gonna find whoever came after me, all right? Let's go. It's pretty dark in here. Getting confused, cameraman. Come around there. Let's make sure we don't find him anywhere, right? Let's go, mate. Whoa. It smells mighty bad up in here. Dear God. <laughs> Is he dead? He's dead. dead. <laughs> He's dead. We don't go. It's all right. It's all right. You're fine. You're fine. I'm here. All right. We need to leave. We need to leave right now. What do you mean? We need to leave right now. All right. Let's leave. I mean, I would have expected to hear him somewhere. I was. Follow my sub club. Oh my God. What is that? He's inside. We need to leave right now. He's somewhere inside. We don't know where. But it's all right. Don't move. No. Turn and stop moving. Run! <laughs> right, mate. So, plan is we've got to get him while he's distracted or something, all right? All right. What do you see? I'm checking. What is he? He's asleep. Oh. I mean, he hasn't killed the cameraman by this point, so you're doing pretty good, mate. Oh. No offence. Yeah, no offence. But, uh, I think we just go for it. Right, I'll cover you. All right. Get him! Get him! Wait! Wait! He's not in his shell. He's not there. Where'd he go? Where is he? Where is I have collected every webkins. Also, I will probably eat you. Window. Window! Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Tape. Good morning, Mona Shores. This is your daily announcement for Friday, May 4, 2018. I'm Emperor Trentelstein. And I'm Noah Wan Kenobi. Please consider sharing food and funds for people in need. The most needed items are non-perishables, peanut butter, pasta, mac and cheese, rice, cans, fruit, vegetables, meat, soup, or soup mix. One can slash box equals one point. You can also contribute cash. One dollar equals four points. All food will be sent to Feeding America West Michigan. The first hour that brings in the most points by May 11th will win a donut party. Seniors, today is the last day. If you have any group pictures from any age that you would like to see in the senior slides, so please send them to Jurassic at JurassicD at MonaShores.net. Do it! Only digital copies, please. Please remember the May Challenge Sailor Pride Day incentive. 10% reduction in referrals for our underclassmen in May. If we meet this 10% reduction, at the end of the day on June 8th, we will have fun with field day type activities with staff and students in our stadium. Individual incentives. Students with zero tardies and zero tech referrals in May will be entered into a drawing for a prize. Students interested in joining the Student Senate next year, you will need to pick up a packet in the main office. Do it! The City of Muskegon is looking for help this summer for students 18 and over. You must have a valid driver's license, a clean driving record, and a pass 
a background check and drug screen. This is a full-time first shift and outdoors working at the city parks, cemeteries, highway, and marina. Stop in the counseling office for more information. Seniors, if you were unable to fill out the online form regarding scholarships awards, please do it by Monday evening. The form like linked was emailed to you and your fourth hour teachers have the specific details you need. In the near future, we will have a search of the building and parking lot performed by the Michigan State Police K-9 Unit. Please do your part to ensure that MSH is a drug, tobacco, and alcohol-free campus. So Cinco de Mayo is a Mexican holiday celebrated in the city of Puebla. It was when the Mexican army won against the French Empire in the 1800s. And uh, so it's major in Mexico. It is uh, mostly celebrated in the city of Puebla. But, uh, you know, the United States kind of commercialized the holiday for the most part, which is why it's so popular here today. Some things that you shouldn't do on Cinco de Mayo are uh, don't wear Mexican attire if you aren't of Mexican heritage and that includes sombreros, ponchos, and fake mustaches, having accents, etc. And instead of doing those things, you could go and support Mexican businesses in your neighborhood. Right, hey guys, you guys should go check out Los Amigos. It's located on Sherman across from Applebee's and it's open from generally 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. And for the Cinco de Mayo, they have all, an all-day buffet and then specialty drinks. Two Outside the mall, there's El Burrito Loco, and some of their popular items include Burrito Texas and Quesadilla Loco. Rosita's Tacos, located in Santa Street, Muskegon Heights, they have their hours 11 to 9, and they have chips and cheese for Saturday. You can also go out and support Navarro's, that is located off Sherman and 8th Street at 2537. 8th Street, Muskegon, Michigan, 49444. Their hours for Cinco de Mayo are 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and their most popular dish is the tamales. Okay, another restaurant you could go check out is La Casa Piero. They're located at 1427 West Sherman Boulevard, kind of by Sherman Bowling Alley. Their specials for Cinco de Mayo are $5 dinner specials and their hours are from 10 a.m. to 3 a.m. Another restaurant you could go to is El Tapatio. It is on the corner of Seaway and Laketon. And their hours for Saturday are 10.30 a.m. until 11 p.m. And their specials for Saturday are they're going to have drink specials, cardboard cutouts for families to take pictures, and they're going to have a mariachi band. Today in history, on May 4th, 1994, Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin and PLO Chairman Yasser Arafat reached an agreement in Cairo on the first stage of Palestine's self-rule. This is Sailor Country. We do it with pride. JV Soccer defeated Jenison 5-0 in conference play. Leading the team was Maya Wren with two goals. Additional goals were scored by Sidney Fetter, Chloe Maxwell, and Riley Rosenthal. Adding assists for Rosenthal, Fetters, Delaney Souza, Brooke LaRue, and Elizabeth Saylor. Solid play in the midfield by Andy Anderson, Camille Zudema, Josie DeVallo, along with solid defense by Brooke Wilkes, Megan Quigg, Morgan Henderson, and Kennedy McComb, aided in the shutout for Gabby Lopez. The varsity soccer team got their 11th win of the season, meeting Jenison 8-0. Scoring for the Sailors was Sarah Mike Sell with 4, Nora Brown with 2, Julia Tierman, and Caitlin McCombs' assists came from Bree Wade, Aaron Powers, Peyton Ertman, Sarah Mike Sell, Madeline Anderson, and Emily Carlson. Getting the shutout was Alexa Musk and Julia Tierman. JV Baseball defeated Maurice Puffer 15-2 thanks to the timely 13 runs in the, a big third inning. Grant Hillen, Brady Whalen, Blake Buster, Nolan Casher, Austin Grimm, and Jalen Hobson contributed in the big inning with RBIs. The team stole 11 bases during the game as three players stole more than one. Brady Rose led the way with three. Rose also got the win, last five, lasted five innings, allowed three hits and two runs while striking out five. Varsity Baseball took Game 3 of the series, 14-9 against Reese Puffer, to win the conference series. Max Spagnuolo earned his first varsity win in relief, allowing one earned run over two and two-thirds innings. Caden Borzma led the way offensively with three hits, including a triple, six RBIs, a, a run scored, and a stolen base. Jackson Neely added two hits and tossed a scoreless seventh inning. The Sailors improved to 12-5 overall and 5-1 in the conference. 
The varsity golf team placed second in the city tournament, losing to Reese Puffer by three shots. David Ackley led the Sailors with 76, good enough to, for second place. Also placing in the top ten were Logan Armstrong, Garrett Norris, and Eric Hannas. Today in sports, varsity golf travels to the Meadows for a tournament. The track team travels to Montague for the GMAA meet. Freshman baseball hosts Lowell with a doubleheader, and girls lacrosse hosts Jenison. Tomorrow, varsity baseball, tennis, and softball participate in their GMAA tournaments. The JV golf team travels to Stormy Creek for a tournament, and boys lacrosse hosts Grand Haven. All right, so some motivation I have. You know, don't get too hung up on tests and quizzes as we end this try. And you really just got to study and use your time wisely. That's all we have for you today, younglings. May the fourth be with you. Her name was Leia, she was a princess With a Danish on each ear and Darth Vader drawing near So R2-D2 found Ben Kenobi Obi-Wan He'd have to put the Death Star plans into the Rebellion's hands So Luke and Obi-Wan had to get to Alderaan So they stopped into Mos Eisley to have a drink